Hey, this is Phil and Larry with the Epic Icon Challenge and Weapons Prevention video series on YouTube. Um, so we're up here at Kicking Horse. Uh, I think we're in Alberta, Canada. It's part of Powder Highway. And just a gorgeous bluebird day. I'm gonna do a panoramic view of uh, this area. I mean, you can't get any nicer than this. Nice things about Kicking Horse is they have they do have a mountain host program. Uh, there is no overnight RV parking. Um, there's, there are some greenish blue trails off the top, but seriously, mostly black trails. If you look at the ski map on my Facebook page, you'll see that it's mostly black diamonds, but you can get down from the top on blue trails. And they've got really good glade sections, nice wide tree glade sections, whether you're doing steep shoots or uh, or just blues and greens. There's a green from the top. Um, so just, and they have a mountain host program that kicks off at 10 a.m. and 1.30 in the afternoon. I didn't need it today because there's not a lot of, there's not a lot to, um, the, usually the mountain hosts keep you on the blues and greens and there are really only a few of them going down the mountain. So I just took my time with those, but uh, I can't say enough about kicking horse. So it's on the Epic, but if you're an employee Epic, you still have to pay. Yeah, I need the full Epic pass. Um, they do have a military rate, and they also have a gondola sightseeing rate. Well worth the sightseeing. So weapons prevention message today. I'm going to talk to Larry. He's a gun owner. I am not for different reasons, and he's got his reasons as a gun owner. So Larry, do you have regulated weapons, and you know what are they, and what's what what do people need to know about those? Well, a number of things are regulated through the ATF, and it could be short-barreled firearms, or it could be automatic weapons, suppressors. I personally have a couple suppressors, and uh, uh, you pay a, a $200 tax stamp uh, and uh, wait an inordinate amount of time. Usually, it's six months to a even a year i've waited i think for both of my uh, suppressors probably well over eight months so and how do you feel about that as a social worker having to wait <laughs> well the waiting was fine uh, uh it's part of a greater plan in putting together a, a rifle or a system but uh uh i had no problem with it it's just you're paying a lot of money and just kind of sitting and waiting the gun shops I bought from will allow you to kind of visit your suppressor and the gun ranges, and so you can go and uh, you know fit it to your rifle and see how it works and, oh, and nice. play with it. So oh, you know good. you don't. It's at the gun shop waiting for the final uh, paperwork to come in. Okay, cool. So that's nice. Yeah, so no problem with the regulations that you have to do to be a gun owner for certain types of weapons. No, no, it's just, it, part it, is, the, it is part of the, the rules of, you know. Uh, and they'll be federally taxed, there's a tax stamp and yeah, the serial tax stamp. numbered and yep, all that. Yeah, in paperwork that you uh, keep with the firearm. Okay, so. all right. Good safety message. Follow the regulations that are in, in place for yeah. uh, no big deal. regulated just, weapons. So. Just waiting for it. All right. Hey, come to Kicking Horse. You'll nice love it. Here. Very beautiful. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Larry. You.